Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome bouts number five. This is Super Featherweight Cops and scheduled for six three-in rounds. Let me introduce you first into the blue corner. So this is in London. It is Jules. The Six rounds at Super Bantamweight. Chris Lawrence, the Maidstone lad, the local boy, against Jules Phillips. Second up, first round. Lawrence out quickly, just flicking that jab out, trying to establish himself. A nice uh, counter left there from Jules Phillips. Lawrence with a slight height oh, advantage here. Good right hand from Jules there. Good right hand from Jules. He's looking sharp, Chris, but uh, Jules caught him nicely with the right hand there. See why they call him the wasp, can't you? Nipping about, a little bit of sting in, it, in the punches. Big uppercut swung there by Lawrence. Not sure it landed clean, but enough to check Jules Phillips on, just for a moment, stop him in his tracks. Come on, Jules. They look quite evenly matched, John, don't they? Really? I mean, we've seen we've seen a few of the fighters that have been a kind of they've gone <clears throat> they've gone kind of towards one fighter, but at the moment it seems quite evenly matched, and and they uh, this could be an interesting one. Lawrence, with the with the uh, as we said with the height advantage, you think he'd try and stick behind that jab early? and try and establish himself a little bit if, if, as you can 
sort of tell by looking at them that he probably has got a slightly longer reach. Oh, great shot there. Good shot from Jules. Yeah, there was uh, one from one. They had one shot each. Um, Jules, Jules is sort of, he seems to be slightly better, better on the inside, but, but Chris, is, Chris has got a lovely jab. He's going to start using that jab a little bit more often. Um, oh, unlucky with that uh, left hook there. With a wild swing from Chris, but Phillips uh, was able to avoid it. And Lawrence, just now, as the round has gone on, has just started to stick a little bit to the, uh, to stick on the outside. Phillips commanding a bit more of the ring. Which way do you see this in, John? Where do you see this going? Well, from the early exchanges, you'd, you'd be thinking that Lawrence should make this slight size advantage count. But Phillips has packed something in these, uh, in these punches, just wobbled him a little bit. Maybe he was overextending. But Phillips' face already slightly reddened. Yeah, he, he, Lawrence definitely got a big frame for the weight, isn't he? He's, he's a big boy for the weight. Yeah, much bigger super phantom weight, you're right. Yeah, that's going to make a big difference. He's, I'd like to see a bit more plant his feet a little bit, Chris, and then if he can plant his feet and throw maybe some of the big powerful shots that I know he can throw. Um, Jules, the smaller man, let's, let's see if he can throw Chris, see if he can throw an uppercut, left hook uppercut, follow that up with a left hook after and see if that pays, uh, pays off. But uh, no, Phillips is interesting. That was a nice right hand from Phillips there. Both landing really nice shots there at the end of uh, that first round. And after a, a quick and, and sharp start, the pattern of the fight started to evolve. Phillips sitting a little bit more in the centre of the ring and uh, Chris Lawrence staying a little bit more at range. But both fighters there landed with some nice shots. Yeah, I mean, I've got to give that round to Lawrence at the moment. I think he's the tidier of the fighter, uh, uh, tidy of, tidy of the two fighters. He's the, the ranger, ranger of the two fighters. He seems to be um, slightly more powerful, and I think that's going to pay uh, dividends in, in the later rounds, really. Uh, Jules, I can't really see him winning this, if I'm honest with you, John. Oh, it's commentator's curse there. Commentator's <laughs> that's, curse. that's that then. Should we just yeah. turn this off? <laughs> for me, for me, very tight first round. Very tight. Um, hard to score, but given the home advantage, it probably would have to go to Lawrence there. Seconds up. Round two. Into the second then. Both swapping jabs. Nice left. Hook there from Lawrence, who's looking a little bit more aggressive in this round. But Phillips again is ma is matching him here, not just content to sort of wait for him to come on. Starting to throw himself as well. Nice one-two from Phillips. You wonder as the fight goes on as well with, with Lawrence's advantage in size. If he, if he did choose to start to work a little bit more on the inside, whether he'd be able to lean on, sap a bit of that energy from the Wasp. I mean, Lawrence, Lawrence to me is throwing, he, he, he's just got to slow it down a little. He's throwing a bit wild at the moment. You can see he's, he's winding up massive into them shots. Just as I say that, he lands a great one there. It's a lovely right hand. <laughs> Other than that, he, he's throwing a bit wild. Like I said, just slow it down and pick his shots a little better. You know, he's got to stop planting those, planting his feet heavy. He's just, just, just take his time, relax a little, look for that shot, look for the opening, and I'm sure it'll come. Nice head movement there from Phillips, reading where Lawrence was coming from. Just taking the edge off the fight for a moment as they sort of size each other up. Don't want to rush in and overcommit, maybe. No, I think that's sensible not to do that. I like, like Dan said, I, I don't want to jinx it at all by saying it's all Chris, but. Um, Chris, Chris for me at the moment is, is sort of putting together the, the neat of the work. He needs to maybe throw, he has slowed down slightly in this, in this exchange, but uh, we, I'd like to see a little bit more work rate from Chris, and I think if he does that, he'll be able to catch Jules a little bit more often. Both fighters staying at range really, but then rushing in, a couple of, couple of solid jabs and then moving back out again. Both fighters sort of sticking to a similar game plan in that. No one is, there's not been any work on the inside and you just wonder if, if Lawrence is missing a trick there by not just leaning in a little bit and making his size advantage count. 
Possibly, John. Possibly. I mean, it's, it's hard to say, really. I mean, Jules, uh, maybe he's maybe he's a little bit more powerful than we than we can probably see. I mean, although Lawrence is the bigger of the two fighters, Jules, you know, short, stocky, strong. You know, Chris is just being careful, careful to get too close to him. Um, Chris. Chris is moving nice, you know, he's looking for him to come forward and as he comes forward he's looking to catch him as Jules comes forward. And, uh, but it's, it's pretty even, oh, good shot there from Chris. Both landed in that exchange. But Phillips by no means here being overwhelmed by Lawrence. And a decent second round there, Dan. Again, tight affair, but for me that one was a bit more clearer there, uh, all to Lawrence and that one. Yeah, same, I'll put it down <coughs> as Lawrence as well. So both rounds going to Lawrence at the moment. I would definitely say though, for me, Phillips definitely not out of this. Um, he's looking to get on the inside and he looks dangerous once he's on the inside, throwing those shots, especially with the height reaches, the height difference, sorry. That uppercut for me, it's there. If he can just work his way into the inside, get into the pocket, I definitely reckon, especially the way Lawrence is throwing, I reckon he's there. Yeah, Lawrence, Lawrence, his, his record kind of it shows, doesn't it? He's 8-0, and, um, and he's he's got a good record there, and he needs to keep keep, keep hold of that record. Just, just, be, just, be, just be careful. Second out, round three. Third round now. This one's scheduled for six. Will we see a little bit more risk from Phillips? Will he start to throw a little bit more? Start to come forward a little bit more? Nice jab again from Lawrence. Although, although there is that size difference, they are quite similar in style, aren't they? I mean, they're both kind of, they wait for each other to sort of look for the counter. Um, neither, neither of them are, are, are rushing, rushing forward for that tear up. They are, they are quite uh, hesitant and tentative and careful and, and skillful. They are boxing each other, they're boxing nicely. Again, arms swinging around, sometimes difficult to see exactly who is getting the better of these, but uh, Lawrence, you would have to say, is landing the cleaner shots when they are both exchanging like that. But again, one for the purists a little bit here, that on, both fighters, not tentative, but certainly picking and choosing their moments and, and not wanting to overexpose themselves. Yeah, I mean, but between them, they've had, they had an awful lot of fights, um, 20, 20 fights between them, and they've, they're definitely, definitely showing that bit of class, and they're not rushing in. You know, they are taking their time, picking their shots, picking their moments, um, and that little bit of experience does show here. One for me is just going to be who's the fitter fighter, I reckon. There's six rounds, so for me it's going to happen in the later rounds. At the moment now it's still look, fairly cagey, both exchanging well, especially uh, when they both clash in the middle. So for me it's just going to be an act of nutrition and whoever has the fitness really. You would think both fighters here showing that they're boxing to plan and staying at range, keeping the fight at range and coming in as, as and when they see right. Yeah, I mean, unlike some of the other fights that we've seen, the referee hasn't had to do a great deal, has he? he hasn't had to step in, hasn't had to break them that often, because um, because they're quite, you know, they're seasoned pros and they know what they're doing. I think ultimately, this is this is like Dan says, it's going to be a bit of a war of attrition. Who is the fittest fighter? Who is who wants it more? You know, and, and let's see how it goes. Referee just separates them for a moment. And again, another round there where I would say I would say all three are sort of following a similar pattern in that both fighters just picking and choosing a little bit their moments uh, to come in and 
only exchanging really when one of the other one goes for them. Yeah, I mean, I've got all three going to Lawrence at the moment. I don't know if the referee's got the same. Um, he stood next to me. I might ask him in a second, but um, yeah, I mean, ultimately, all three for Lawrence. It's closer. I mean, they're very, very, I say, although they, they are, as I've mentioned earlier on, they are different in stature and they are different in size, but they are uh, very tentative, very careful, and they're boxing each other. They're weighing each other up and they're, they're looking for the openings. Um, I'd like to see, you know, for me, it's got to be Lawrence throwing a few more shots, that, that long right hand. And, and let's see him catch him as he comes forward and maybe bully cool. this, this, this Jules a little bit more often. Yeah, I agree with, completely with that. I mean, looking at uh, Phillips' corner there, you can see it's quite interesting. Phillips' cool. corner is telling him when he's breaking, when he's stepping away, look look for the uppercut. And that's, that's exactly what he has been doing, looking for that uppercut. And we'll see if he can find it. Over halfway. Lawrence just dancing, pacing around. He's, got back on his, he's, he's back on his toes, isn't he, Lawrence? I mean, he was the last, the last two. He was sort of, uh, he was a bit more flat foot. He was on his feet, but he was fairly flat. But now he's on his toes a little bit more. He's a little bit busier. He's a little bit bouncier. You know, he's he's, he's stepped it up a little bit. I think this round. Phillips just watching. Looking for an opening, looking for the right moments. But again, it seems like a little bit that he is just waiting for Lawrence to move before he throws. You want to see Jules Phillips maybe start to come forward a little bit more himself and start to, if he wants to win this fight, take his own, uh, carve out his own opportunities. But again, with that slightly slight reach advantage, you wonder if uh, just nervous of getting picked off. He got caught going forward there. Uh, Lawrence, he has to be a bit careful here. Oh, oh no, he's back on the ropes. He's got to throw them shots. Nice, he got off them ropes nicely there, coming forward. And he's got that power there, Lawrence. I know he has. He's just got to use it a bit more often. Keeping them hands up nice and high, being careful not to be caught, and he goes forward. He got caught, Lawrence there. Um, so he, he did drop them hands, but he's got to keep them hands up. A little bit of blood coming from Chris Lawrence's nose. Nice left there from Jules Phillips. Yeah, Phillip, Phillips is tough. He may be small in there, but definitely tough. I mean, some of the punches he's throwing, some of the punches he's taking as well. You know, great chin on him. Proves by his record as well. He's only been stopped twice. Yeah, he's, got, he's got a bit of blood in his nose. He's, he's taking a bit of a battering, um, or a little. He's got a little bit of blood in his face there. Uh, um, uh, Lawrence, thank you, John. Uh, but uh, that doesn't that doesn't demonstrate that he's taken a pound at all. I mean, Lawrence has been been probably the slightly more dominant fighter here tonight but uh, hopefully that doesn't cost him you start to feel a little bit like Jules Phillips has just started to chance himself a little bit just throw a little bit of caution to the wind you can see the confidence rising can't you his swagger's starting to come back now that's right yeah that maybe that little uh, that cut that blood from the nose just giving Phillips a little bit more uh, hope Absolutely, John. He's got a little bit of more, more confidence, Jules, and that's that little bit of blood from from poor uh, from from Chris there. He's, he's sort of spurred him on a little bit, hasn't it? Phillips maintaining the the centre of the ring. Oh, nice combination, but but as he came in, then Lawrence with a nice overhand right and a and a decent fight. I would say the best fight so far. Best sorry, the best round so far of the fight. And the corner will now go to work on that, on that nose, just try and stem the bleeding a little bit. Doesn't, yeah, doesn't seem too bad a, a cut. I think, John, I've got to give that round to the away fighter there, Phillips. I think he's, that, that round for me is, is Phillips' best round at the moment. And uh, Lawrence was unlucky. He's been caught a little bit too often in that round there. Um, so I've got it down as, as three rounds to Lawrence and one to Phillips at the moment. Yeah, and I, I concur the exact same. I reckon Phillips... He's really starting to grow into this fight now. You can see the confidence is there. Also, for me, I gave him that round. What's interesting is, as we know, Lawrence is quite big for the weight. And um, it's whether, um, I want to see whether that weight cut has drained him because he's looking to slow down. Will that become an issue in the fight? We shall see. Round five. Round number five. You'll be thinking here that Phillips will start to Press a little bit more, push a little bit more. We'll probably take some confidence from that last round, which was a 
which was his, his best so far of the fight. Yeah, it's going to give him those, that last round's going to give uh, Jules a little bit of confidence now. He's got two rounds left, and uh, we'll see how that goes now. I mean, he's got to be careful now, Chris. He needs to start upping his work rate. He's going to have to start working, working that jab a bit, being careful as he goes forward, not to be caught by Jules, and uh, hopefully we can, uh, he can win this fight. Lawrence just prowling, just circling, looking, looking for the opportunity, looking for the, for the, for the gap, maybe as Phillips starts to throw a little bit more. Lawrence will begin to uh, let his hands go again. A little bit of switch, switch hitting there, turn south ball. Momentarily, and... Good jab there from Chris. A lovely jab from Chris there. Caught him nicely, Jules. He caught him short. It's a nice little flurry there from Jules as well. Moving his head nicely, Chris. Jules is still stalking him, still walking forward. He's, he's, he's a lot more on the front foot now, Jules, isn't he? He's far more on the front foot than he's ever been. And you just wonder here when in the clinch, I mean, Lawrence breaking, breaking away quickly, but you wonder if he just wants to stay, if he should stay there a little bit. Try and work at Phillips' body. On, nice right there from, from Phillips. Good shot, landing flush on his chin. And again, it was a left followed by a nice right. Yeah, th this has changed now. I mean, we're, we're, in our, we're in our fifth round now, and um, I can see that uh, Jules is gaining confidence. He's far more on the front foot. Uh, this, unlike the other uh, one, two, three, four rounds where it was very much kind of both even um, and it was kind of uh, both holding the centre of the ring. This is far more now. Uh, Phillips on the front foot now and, and, and Chris on the back foot. Lawrence loading up there. Threw a lot behind that. But Phillips took it well and continues to walk forward. And Lawrence circling, looking for space. Keeping on his toes. Nice strong jab from Phillips. What was uh, what, John? What was the, the what was Phillips' nickname again? He, he was wasp. the Wasp. The Wasp. He is a Wasp, isn't he? He's just on him all the time, like a, like an annoying little Wasp. But he's a good lad. He's he's strong, isn't he, Jules? I'm I'm impressed. Well, we're, as we all know, Wasps do like Bin John. <laughs> <laughs> they they are around Bins, and here we go. He's a prime example of it. He won't let him go. He's got Lawrence in his sight, and he's not letting go. Nice clubbing right from Phillips. And as the fight has gone on, you feel his struts, he has grown into it. Lawrence definitely felt that left. And now Phillips. John, he's going to have to stay away from the ropes here. Um, that's, going to impress, that's going to impress the uh, referee, isn't it, I think? Phillips' corner there, just encouraging him to not back off at that point, just to keep, just to keep coming on, stay in the clinch maybe. Let his hands go a little bit. And, and he has grown in confidence here. That was a big miss there from Lawrence. Phillips dropping his hands for a moment. And a nice combination there from Phillips, who is growing further that this fight goes on, is growing into this fight. And you, well, he must be feeling the confident man here. Yeah, he's going to feel unbelievably confident now. I mean, I've got that going to uh, our away fighter. Um, it's unfortunately, Chris, Chris uh, stepped off a little bit. He was going forward, Philip. Um, our away fighter and uh, for me uh, Jules was um, definitely the the stronger opponent that round yeah definitely for me as well uh, I gave the rounds Phillips he's definitely looking the fresher out of both fighters now and like I said before previously it, it, we're just gonna have to see what both have got in the tank but that weight cut for me could have been a factor one more round of this uh, super bantamweight contest and I think it's gonna be tight on the uh, on the refs uh, Scorecard. I think. I think this Phillips may have started to close the gap a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Phillips. Phillips has by, by for me has closed the gap completely. I think this is going to be a close one. You know, he's going to have to start stepping up a little bit now. Six Chris. up, sixth and final round. So what have they got for us in this final round? You feel like already they're going to let their hands go. Lovely right hand there. From Chris Lawrence. Which is all to play for. I think his corner have told him, you know, you've got to start, you've got to win this round, Chris. 
If you want to win this, you've got to win this round. And I think that's what he's looking to do. Again, still looking to avoid, but Phillips is closing the gap quickly. Looking to exchange. You feel like Phillips needs to win this round, really, and do it convincingly. Another nice shot from Lawrence. Just catches Phillips as he was coming in. But as they let their hands go, there are going to be more opportunities, more gaps, more moments to exploit. Yeah, definitely here. This is a proper cage. This is a what you call. This is a proper fight. And this last round here could go either way. Both fighters really throwing it all. Lawrence's corner just encouraging him to go to go through the middle, just to maybe avoid going left and right as much. Use the jab. But again, you feel like Phillips needs to be point scoring here. Yeah, absolutely. Phillips needs to start putting it on it a little, on Chris a little bit now and start throwing a few more shots. It, it is going to be close. I mean, I've still got it down um, to Chris at the moment. Chris is still slightly in front, but Phillips, you know, he's going to have to start start uh, throwing a few more shots. He is still coming forward. They're both looking tired. Um, but if Chris can if Chris can keep his uh, hands up high and start throwing a few more shots, ah, oh, that's nice work from Jules there. But. Uh, it's going to be a close one, John, I think. Into the dying moments of this, the final round. This is one that could come down to home advantage. Could be scored either way. I mean, Phillips being from North London as well. I mean, with his white shorts, what do you reckon he is, a red or a blue? Who knows, who knows? Probably, probably not an Arsenal fan, if he's got any sense. But Phillips, again, is the aggressor, I would say, in this round. Absolutely. Look, yeah. Looking to point score. Oh, oh it's a lovely right, right hand and another one. That, that, that rocks Chris a little bit there, didn't it? A Jules for a lovely right hand. That's another one for, come, coming back from Lawrence. A great right hand from Lawrence as well. Jules again, right hand. Jules landing here. I would say landing more than, than Lawrence has, as Lawrence still continues to pace around the outside. Yeah. And you, you just wonder if he needs to get in and engage a little bit. Big swing and a miss. It's an unbelievable pace, John, isn't it? They've done well to sustain it. Um, we'll see how this goes. This is going to come down to the wire. It's going to come. This will be a close one, John, isn't it? Tiny little margins you, you feel are going to swing this for either fighter. On our cards here, the fight was still alive to the very end. Cracking fight, they, the boys embrace. One of the best fights of the night, I thought, John. You know, it started off relatively steady, one and two. Third round started off quite steady. The fourth, fifth, and the sixth round were unbelievable. And the last, the last round was uh, was the best round by far. And that was a real, enter really entertaining round for the uh, for the crowd tonight. How have you scored it, Dan? You've got it in front of you. For me, I, I gave them three rounds apiece, which uh, a draw, con a controversial draw, controversial draw. But I reckon the ref's going to go Lawrence, based on hometown advantage. Oh, hometown advantage and. Uh, yeah, exactly. Hometown support, but for me, definitely a draw. Phillips uh, definitely came on really strong there towards the end, and it was quite visible that Lawrence was getting really tired. Yeah, you, potentially you could give a couple of the last rounds either way, but certainly Phillips ended the fight much better than he started. Fifty-eight points to fifty-seven points in favour of the blue collar. Sure. And it didn't go that way, Dan. Jules Phillips, the surprise victor here tonight, based on their records. The travelling uh, fighter gets the victory.